The clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Chavant. All right, folks, uh, just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to be uh, giving a three day workshop down in Grapevine, Texas. That's just a little ways from uh, Dallas and uh, it's near Fort Worth. And uh, I'm going to be doing a workshop there on creating a human head. And uh, it's going to be the 7th, 8th, and 9th of October 2016. I give the date, uh, the year, because there's no telling when this video is going to be looked at. It's going to be uh, a fun time, and uh, I'd love to have people from uh, to uh, join me who can. Um, anyway, just leave a message down in the uh, message area, and I will get you the information and contact information for uh, setting yourself up to take a uh, three-day lesson from me down there. All right, let's get busy on this guy. I'm going to add a robe to this guy here. Well, it's cold in here today. Uh, it's 10 Celsius outside, or 50 degrees, and it's wet and damp and rainy. <sighs> Good day to be in the house and sculpting. <laughs> Football team about a half a block away from here uh, practicing in the cold and the rain. It's uh, 10 Celsius here uh, or 50 degrees. It's, it's cold. Anyway, I'm just uh, flattening out this clay. This is uh, an ink roller that uh, you can get from a lot of uh, office supply stores and stuff like that. It makes a, it makes a good roller for clay because clay has a tendency not to stick to it. And uh, sticky clay is a problem. Ah. And to keep the clay from sticking to the cutting board, you have to clean it off once in a while with some lighter fluid. Every once in a while. Glad I don't play football on a day like today. There we go. Clay's a little stiff uh, because of the coldness. And I'm not cold enough to turn the heat on yet. Okay, I'm going to keep uh, rolling this clay out until it gets thin enough. There we go. One more time.
get my little alcohol lamp. That hurts. <laughs> so I'm just adding these wrinkles or these uh, things that are characteristic of a uh, brain tan shirt. And uh, one of the characteristics is how it has these little folds. Uh, in the wrinkles in the uh, shirt. Anybody who knows anything about brain tan clothing uh, will recognize what I'm doing here. These uh, shirts tend to be short. Now, back in the early part of the 1800s, they were really long because they they were had access to elk hides and stuff like that, and those were huge hides, and they would wear their shirts all the way down to their knee, past their knees. But in the reservation days, they didn't have the access to elk and the big game like moose and stuff like that. So they did with what they could. This would be a uh, deer hide that'd be just folded over and uh, a hole cut in the uh, top for uh, the neck and the head to pop through. That's it uh, for today. It's it's starting to come together, and uh, I like the emotion. I like the uh, feeling of it. 